Here's what actually happened in 2024 that nobody talks about. Hamas compiled dossiers on over 2,000 Israeli Air Force officers using LinkedIn, Facebook, and Google Earth. Names, addresses, family photos, license plates, bank details, all from public sources. Or the Sony Pictures hack in 2014. Attackers used OSINT to profile executives and employees before launching targeted phishing, found their social media, their connections, their habits, then crafted emails so convincing that people just handed over credentials. That's OSINT in 2026. It's literally just knowing how to Google things normal people are too lazy to Google, combined with understanding what metadata actually means. Google dorking. In 2018, Exactus exposed 340 million records on a publicly accessible server. Security researcher found it by using simple search operators to scan for unsecured databases on cloud platforms. Wait, what? You're telling me I can find confidential documents just by typing file type colon PDF confidential? Yes, exactly. In 2019, First American Financial exposed hundreds of millions of sensitive customer records through a simple URL manipulation. After spending three hours manually researching someone, I discovered automation, a tool called Sherlock, free, open source. Give it a username and it checks 300 sites automatically. Sounds perfect, right? Wrong. Sherlock found 47 accounts for the username I tested, and 43 were the wrong person, or abandoned, or someone trolling with that name. Now I had to manually verify each one. I automated myself into more work. But here's the gut punch nobody mentions. Your username is probably the same across 30 platforms because remembering different ones is annoying. I tested this on myself, found the SoundCloud I made drunk in 2015. Three songs, all terrible. Can't delete it because I don't remember the password. It will exist forever as evidence of my poor life choices. Every photo has metadata, exif data, GPS coordinates, device info. Your phone embeds GPS by default unless you manually disabled it, which you definitely didn't. Most of your photos are geotagged. I found someone's apartment building from a cat photo once. The cat was inside, but metadata set exact GPS location. That cat didn't consent to this. Organizations leak info through employee social media profiles. If you can find which employees work where and what their interests are, you can craft phishing so targeted it's almost unfair. People post photos with zero location tags and you can still find where they are. How? Reflections in windows showing street signs, mountains in the background that only exist in specific regions, shadow angles indicating latitude and time of day, brick patterns unique to certain cities and time periods. Real case I know about. Investigator geolocated photo from brick pattern visible in the background. Specific pattern only used in Chicago 1920 to 1940. Narrowed to 12 buildings, checked each on Google Street View, found it. That's insane person behavior, but it works. Sun angles are predictable. Shadows point specific directions at specific times. If you know when photo was taken, you estimate latitude from shadow angle. Narrows possible locations from entire Earth to maybe 50 cities. This is the denominator problem, but for stalking. Look, all those techniques I just showed you, I had to piece all of this together from sketchy forums and contradictory Reddit threads, so I put everything in one place. Cyberflow Academy. All the techniques that actually work. There's a full video walkthrough on the site showing everything inside. You can see exactly what you get before joining. Check it out. You can't unsee how exposed everything is. You'll be at dinner and someone mentions moving, and you'll accidentally say the address because you saw it on Zillow, and they'll think you're a stalker, which, fair. You start analyzing metadata in everything. Photos, documents, social posts, everything is either a clue or a lie. No in between. Your relationship with information is permanently damaged. You're cooked. Your brain is cooked. But also, you can find anyone's email in four minutes and verify if someone is lying about their background in 10 minutes, and that's genuine power in 2026, where everyone hides behind fake personas. So here's your challenge. Find out who this man is and write it in the comments below. Mm.
おいしい私はレンゴくん。パースティーボキコンでウェスハンサイカー。ポケットでベーブ、ネブネブネブ。私は本当に大好きこのボンボクラッジャメイカのチンチン。うん。見てこれよ。全部この人間は殺してやり、私大好き。うん。なんだよ。でも、僕は綺麗だ。なるほど。Alright, enough internet for today. See you in the next video.